Okay, we're on attack route here. Looks like he's trying to fuck off. Fly Daily actually playing something that flies? Yeah, I don't know what this witchcraft is, but guys, in today's video, we are playing planes. And more precisely, we are checking out the new 50 cal buff. I don't know if you guys have heard, but there was a small server update where they buffed the living crap out of 50 cows. And I think this is a preemptive patch, uh, or, or why they did this was because the Italian aircrafts have a lot of 50 cows on board. Uh, and their top tier, the G91 at 8.0, only has 50 cows as well. So I think it was just to balance, make them more competitive, etc. I thought 50 cows were okay in the past, uh, but today we're really going to see how much of a buff was achieved with this update. What I'm expecting is very short time on target, and if not, quick fire sets by the M2 APIT. For today's video, we're using the P47N15, pretty much a, a, a wheelchair with wings, like a handicap. Okay, God, that's bad. Why? Why did I say that? It's uh, it's a really easy plane to fly, per se. Without further ado, fellas, let's go make some metallic Swiss cheese. Beautiful, beautiful. It feels like I'm playing a whole new game. I don't think I played a, a plane in probably like a month and a half. This is going to be rusty. Hopefully, the muscle memory will kick in. Uh, but the good thing is that we are versing, or not versing, we are using the P-47N15. A very forgiving jet. Oh my gosh, Jesus Christ, mouth, brain, prop. Um, we are, yes, we are versing the Russians, so this should be pretty easy. Now that doesn't mean we don't have to use brain power. The Russians are crafty. The only thing is, is that the Russians like to go low in the uh, P-47, especially this one likes to go high. Now we are using 500 meters of convergence, and usually I would go up a little bit higher than that, but I just want to see how big of a buff we have with this thing. But with being on the ground playing tanks for so long, um, you don't really realize how beautiful War Thunder is. When you hop, I mean, look at that view right there. That's 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 quality. I mean, this is stuff that we saw in 2013. It's amazing, especially back then at how good the game look, and it is still holding true today. But yeah, it feels, it feels good to be up in the sky again, that's for sure. You know, I was almost at the, the copyright office, and I was like, you know, fly, they were like, Fly, you're gonna have to start calling yourself Roll. Maybe not all Russians like to go low. We have three, four enemies spotted. The I-185 is actually just below my altitude right now, and hopefully as we transition to that portion of the battlefield will be above them but uh we don't have that many fighters over there most of our fighters are just kind of where i'm at luckily we do have the british with us just because of that spitfire i wonder where that i-185 is going to go if he goes up much higher i don't think he can perform well he is still like he's still climbing though what we can do is take care of some of the easier bait down here, re relieve some of our players, and then hopefully they'll start focusing on him. But I think he's trying to get into position to engage me. At 7,000 meters, that's pretty darn high for a prop battle. I don't know what he's doing, though. No one else will be able to support me here. He's not a threat anymore. I mean, yeah, you can keep climbing, dude. I'm just going to go down and kill all your teammates. He hasn't changed attitude in about a minute and a half. So we're, so we're going to forget about him and focus on these guys. Call for some preemptive backup. Okay, here we go. Remember, keep that energy up. Don't be a lunatic. We gotta, we're going to burn so much altitude right here. We'll try to go for the highest first, though. Whew, man. I haven't had a heartbeat in War Thunder like this in a while. That's what that's what planes do to you. Tanks, you're more relaxed because you can go back and cover. And if you die, no problem. You can, well, if you get enough kills, you can respond. This is all or nothing, man. This is good. This is good. 
Okay, this guy shouldn't be coming for me at all. We got a Yer, Yak over to our left. Yak 9T, can't really do much with that plane. Well, you can, but it's not that maneuverable. We're gonna try to engage this Yak over here. We got a PE-8. I really wish I had the 800 meter convergence. Good hits, pulling off. Ooh, 11 Gs, 11 Gs. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got, we got somebody behind us. Wait, wait, was that that guy? I, I heard someone on, on our left. We're okay, we're, we're okay. Let's go for the bait. We're so much faster than these guys. Almost made a huge mistake right there. Got a yak behind us. We're okay, okay, good. That yak three got baited. He's dead. I think we'll have enough energy to do a turnaround on this yak nine. That thing scared the living crap out of me, though. Okay, we're on attack route here. Looks like he's trying to fuck off. <laughs> I'm done. I'm fucking done. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, that guy fucking imploded. I've never seen that shit with a 50 cal. All right, wait, 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 who am I turning on right now? We got a Yak-9 here. I'm done, video's over. 50 cals have been buffed, confirmed. <laughs> oh, that's quality. That's, that's so funny. Oh my gosh, he was trying to up and down maneuver. Let's see if this P-47 wants to go for, let's see what he wants to do here. I want to support him. I don't want to, like, fuck his kill. Okay, I'll be next in line here. Keep it up and will be ours. We're going to pull off that. I think that P-47 can handle it, and we'll go after the guys behind him. Flaps out. Okay, I-153, Spitfire and a Yak-3, good. Got him critical with, with my right wing mount, good. All right, that's gonna be the majority, now it's cleanup time. That I-153, we missed him a lot, but then he flew into our right wing of, you know, 450 cals and that shot him up pretty darn good. But, uh, wow. 50 cows, 50 cows. But yeah, in the comments below, guys, uh, let's, let's talk about something. Oh, shit, yeah, we need to watch that engine. My bad. So is, is it overheated or is it overheating? <laughs> um, so we have a lot of different 50 cows in the game. This is the way I think about 50 cows, is that the slower the 50 cow is, the more damage it does, right? So if you have like a German, let's say 13 mil, and a Japanese 50 cal, or a Italian 50 cals, I believe those are slower. I don't know about the 13 mil. I believe those are slower than the 50 cal. What I thought, at least just how I understand bullets and stuff, I'm very, you know, this is a very naive statement, but my thoughts are that the slower a round can penetrate and still penetrate a target, um, the more damage it will do because it will start to toss around and it won't go through cleanly. Did you guys see that? Is that guy alive down there? Oh my gosh! Okay, welcome back. Oh, this should be a fun, I think. Though knowing me, I'd prob I'm probably going to fuck this up, but it it's a small chance that we might be able to get three kills here. No, we already messed it up. He disengaged from that look. We got a 190 down low. We're going to catch him fast. Keep that airspeed up, baby. Just open it up soon. Ah, oh, damn it. He maneuvered just before we were able to get there. 
Nice, I'll take it. Disengaging. Good. And now we're gonna do a nice slow left hand turn so we cut off his climb. They're off us. Get a little more altitude up. And we're going back in. Need more airspeed. Come on. 47. Let's roll. Ooh, need more airspeed. Need more airspeed. Need more airspeed. These guys have no energy at all. Here we go. Landing flaps down. Wow, boys, that is something else right there. When we're using, oh, I didn't tell you guys, we're using 800 meter convergence this time around. Um, and when you have that ability to shoot that accurately at that range, you do have a lot of time on target. It doesn't seem like a lot, but you have so many rounds spewing at the enemy that one's bound to hit that fuel tank. Phenomenal. Hopefully this game will last a little bit longer than the others. I have seem to have found the whole enemy team. I'm gonna go ahead and build up some energy here. Get off the web. Turn around and pounce on one. But we're gonna need at least build up around 500 kilometers an hour speed before we do pounce. Ooh, actually no. I mean, we can pounce and engage now because we have a Spitfire with us. This should be kind of interesting. Okay, Yak-3 disengaged a little bit, doing a turnaround. This Yak-9 is looking nice and slow here. We're clear from the rear. LE-7, nope, nope, you ain't doing that to me. No, sir. I need to cool the engine off right now. If I would have dropped down, I would have been right in his sights. We need to help that Spitfire out, though. We can't leave him hanging in there. He's got four on him. Come on, come on, come on. Mm, we're a little bit too behind. But that Spitfire can pull off some nasty moves. Okay, 500 kilometers an hour achieved. He looks kind of okay. We got a Yak-9 stall climbing almost. Okay, pulling off that. Going back down to help the Spitfire out. Need to build some airspeed. Oh, shit. Disengaging. Whew, that guy came out of nowhere. Oh, he hit me right there. Fucking hell. I can I can still fly okay though. Oh, you're really gonna take his kill like that? Where's our fucking team at? Where are you guys at? Where are you guys? The battle's fucking over here. Oh, it wasn't enough speed. I wonder really where is our team at? Flaps? Oh, that's unfortunate. We're about to have a game and a half right there. Oh, I know where all our team was at. B-17, 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 B-17. Because the whole battle of fighters was over on the right side. We have a P-51 over here who... Okay, he's, he's in the action. But, uh, okay. Well, facts are facts. 50 cows are very flippin' strong once you get it on a nice target. There goes another plane right there, RIP. A little rusty in the fighter department, but uh, it's coming back a little bit. 
Guys, hope you have enjoyed this video today. Until next time, peace out.